All right, so iCast is full, full of game changers. Is this a game changer? So this stuff is, uh, these red rooms don't have to be refrigerated at all. It's <clears throat> part of alchemists. So these worms don't have to be refrigerated? Nothing. So like these are our chartreuse worms here. Uh, their lifespan is about two and a half to three months unrefrigerated just in this cup here. What else do we got? Look at this. Oh, that's a very nice seat. That, that, that's a game changer. That is not. That, it's a game changer. Good seats. High quality. Big guy certified. Big guy certified. Oh, yeah. That thing looks comfy right there. Nice. A barber chair. That's good. $2,600. Bobby just caught a cart with his bandana on. He's some sort of a gang, I guess. That's his heart. We're here bow fishing. What we got going on? Is that a Zepco right there? No, sir. It's a bad unit. The spin doctor. Spin doctor with a four to one ratio picked up on it. Four to one, okay. Basically one to reach out. Damn, nice. And what does that weigh? Uh, probably 19, 19 ounces. Okay. Like okay. A little right. For, 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 a little bit heavier duty for the. But it's stout. It's yeah. what you yeah. need for the what gears and everything else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we have the uh, winch Pro. Basically mounts on the bow just like this on the side. And when you're holding the bow, you can push down the lever, shoot your bow, string goes out, you can start reeling in, and then you have your feather on your on your drag here. So ah, you okay. I see ya. We have a Elron rollers. Got a little drag action. Okay, so she starts running, you pull the trigger to slow yep, her down. Yep, slow it down, bring it back. Like it. All right. All the way back. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. We got 10 colors, those are in stock, We're ready to ship now. I like the, the, the whole ringworm action, I like that. Based off the D bomb. Nice. And the tag tail on there, the Ike micro jig. That's an Ike micro jig, huh? That is serious. Three sizes. That's about a six aught hook right there. Yep. Everybody six aught. Minus five or six millimeter. So uh, three sizes, sixteenth, eight, three sixteenths, and six colors. Okay. With the new drop claws, we've come out with to match those perfect. That's what that was a drop claw right there. So I tried to try like. All right. A little new stuff for missile. New color in the D-bomb? PBJ. PBJ. And Super Crawl. Super Crawl. They were Pat Marquise. Pat Marquise. We all know Kelly Jordan. I mean, he's one of my favorite anglers ever. And you know, I'm making fun of the word game changer, game changer. Everybody's got a game changer. Well, this, how about, how about an innovator? How about we replace that with innovator, something that really has credibility. What these dudes have come up with, what Kelly's endorsing and showing off, <clears throat> Show them. I just I'm gonna let y'all see this. Hi everybody, this is the RTD. It stands for Rod Threading Device. It uh, helps you string your rod. Plain and simple. I have this bright green line on here so you can see the line. It's attached to the back of the unit with a drop shot connector. All right, let's stop which right there. About it so when I first saw him use this and I saw how this was on there, I'm like, dude, that would be cool, but I don't want to spend time tying this on that little loop. I don't have to worry about doing that. It'd be cool if it had the teardrop like on a drop shot weight or something like that. Kelly corrected me. He said, look a little closer, fat cat. We start running your lips. <laughs> and it actually has that. So you cinch it in there. It is, it's effortless. It's quick. And this is what you can do with it. Yep. String your rod easy. Top to bottom, bottom to top. Put it in there. And there you go on down your rod. And you have strung your rod. And you are ready to get more sleep or have more time fishing. And it does something that nobody I know likes to do. And Show them the guts, because it's, it's, you're like, how does that work? The guts of it, you see so, that yeah. dial that goes through? Yeah, this is called the bob, and it's the middle. This is what you attach your line to. These little gates, or arms, hold it in place, and one opens and lets your guide pass through, so there's always three holding this bobbin in place, and that's what lets it go right through all your guides. Quick and easy, you don't have to look at it. It guides itself up pretty much. The front of this is designed 
to bounce on your guide right there and throw it right in position and you're right through your guide like that quickly. And good. you notice that he's using a rod that doesn't necessarily have huge guides. Now, will this work on micro guides as well? Micro guides, no. This okay. would have to be about the size of a needle. So that could be that could be RTD2 or something yeah. like that. Well, we, we have a solution. In fact, uh, Kelly and I worked on that solution for probably about a year. So it's already figured out. <laughs> But we actually went to this market because there was a lot more rods. So y'all are playing games like Apple. You've got well, it's a good game. It's a marketing yeah. strategy. You got the next generation. We want everybody to get a taste of this, see how it goes. Then we bring two out with really good blow mines. Right. Yeah, and we're just trying to make uh, everybody have more fun fishing, more time in the water, and it's something that I'm going to use. You're going to use. Yes. It's a tool that everybody loves. And so that, I, that's why we're doing it. I had a discussion yesterday. I was trying to explain this tool to some folks. They're like, I don't need anything like that to put line up there. I just put line through it. Well, apparently you've never been fishing when it was 32 degrees outside and the water was about frozen, your fingers are numb, or when the wind is blowing. We've all done this. We've all got the line from here, got the line all the way up to this one right here, slips out and goes all the way back down. That's happened to us. All the way up here, slips back down, or you've done this. You get the line all the way up, you come all the way down, you tie it to your trap, your crankbait, and then your line gets stuck in the daggone split ring. Then you're frustrated and you finally get that retied. Now you got that. Then you look and you took in your line and went around the guide and up. So now you're, ah! Yeah. <laughs> this right here, you avoid all of that. It's simple. Slip your line into the eye, run it up, pull it out. What are we talking about right now? Get your life right. Check out RTD. Get you some. You're welcome. Awesome. That's right. <laughs> Erupt fishing. <laughs> Erupt fishing. Yep. Kelly Jordan. Pat Park. Marquise. I'm sorry. Looks like Mac Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like me, we both like to eat. We eat some mac and cheese, boy. <laughs> this is for the big boys. Bumping bellies, baby. <laughs> ICAST 2018. This right here is what this show is all about. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Beck. Bass Mafia. Let's see what they got. I mean, Bass Mafia is, is, is like me. They're trailblazing, trendsetting pioneers. But we'll check out the new stuff. The ice box. We all know about the coffin. Look at this. That, that, that's a pretty, that's, that's a petite coffin. So they took technology similar to this plastic, put it into the ice, the clear. That's very nice. And these things already come in there, and they're already cut. You ain't got to cut them and break them yourself and all that. And they come out, you want them to come out. That's nice. So we all know about the money bag. Now we're doing a coastal mafia money bag. If you don't know about the money bag, it's your mind right. We got new money bags too, don't we? Yes, look at this. So this could be like a terminal bag. Put a little bit of everything right up in here. Look at that. Look at that. And the big daddy. What happened to five gallon? How big is it? We made it for you. Five gallon bag. That's for me when I bring my snacks. But what you got? Look. What are you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Look at the ice Jeffy? box. Uh -uh. That's hot. I saw a video of this. That's this money. Morning. Yes. And like I said, the money bags are strong. Five gallon money bag. Snacks. Like I say, a little bit of whatever you want to put in there. You put like ranch right there, chicken wings right there, maybe fruit or something. I'm not eating fruit, but yeah. A little bit of everything, man. They got it going on. Bass Mafia. Y'all don't know about them, y'all better be about them. So I just know another big game changer here is this laundry basket. That's probably going to win the best to show here at ICAST. He's got a, a laundry basket that's made out of uh, polyurethane plastic uh, synthesized by um, soybeans. So I did see these coolers uh, the other day. And it's different. Everybody's making coolers. Everybody got to have a cooler. This one right here, I don't know why you need two different sides, but it's cool. I ain't mad at them. They're trying different things. Wild gear, that's, that's, oh, I think it's about to fall off. All right, Tim. It's different. Look, trifecta. They got a live well in it. Okay, now we're doing things. You always got a cooler with a live well. Got the little fishing rod holder on the side. Okay, okay. All right, wild gear. I'll see y'all. <laughs> Alabama All right. Slammer. So here we are, we're over here talking duo realists, the guys that are always changing the game. And I don't even want to say, I'm worried about the word game changer. I've said it 87 times. These guys are innovators. Let's see what duo realists has got going on here at ICAST 2018. What y'all got? Start from small to big? This is a little uh, hybrid bait. It's 
going to be a real cool one. Probably going to be available next spring. It's Dude, good. for a big, that short, yeah. it's got a thump too. Oh yeah, it's got a thump. Yeah. Big wide tail. Well, you know, swims real easy. It's going to have two big frog hooks that come up over it. And I think we're going to make it where you're interchangeable, where you can use a frog hook or a treble hook. And nice. Big wobble to it. Of course, the you know the castable version will be it'll be weighted nice and whatnot. You're gonna be able to fish it through mats and duckweed, that type of stuff. Nice. Nice big fish. It's gonna be really cool. Yeah. I'm excited to see this one in production. Me, I like that. Oh, uh, what you got? This is our new uh, subsurface Alabama rig. It's a topwater Alabama rig actually, and it's not it's not currently out yet, but we don't have a ETA on it quite yet. Uh, it's still in development. But it's really made to be as look as a larger prey fish chasing a bunch of forage. You can add all your baits on each side. Is this for real? This is for real. That's legit. That's some fat cat stuff right there. That's yeah. right. <laughs> wow. So, like I said, innovative, dude. It's awesome, man. All right, I see you got some tucked back here. You were supposed to turn the camera off, man. What would happen? Turn. It's off. The camera is off. It's off. It's off. Okay. I remember, I told you about this, right? Oh my God! We're going to the XL spy baiting. XL spy baiting. That's Big Belly Kelly right there. Uh, this is, this what are you is, throwing that on? This is actually drone operated. Drone <laughs> operated. Yeah. So Six pound test. Me and you are going out. We're you gotta go to it. twelve for this one. Dude, yeah. you name the time. We, I guarantee yeah. you. Yeah, we, you only need four pound. You only need four pound test with that. So you hold that, and then I've got something. You know, we talk about deep diving, crank. All about that deep plug um, life. We have that G87 that a lot of the pros are using, but. I don't, want to talk about, I don't want to talk about the G87. I don't want to talk about something else. <laughs> Look at that. They've been wanting something a little bit yeah. bigger than that G. That, that dive's about 112 foot? Yes. Um, you can use it a lot of different ways. I mean, obviously, you can use big trouble hooks. But, of course, if you're in the parking lot, you get carjacked. You, just that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. If you catch saltwater fishing, you just club it. Yep, club them. Soft side. Somebody yeah. said that's actually like model after folks clubbing baby seals is that yeah, true it's it, no we won't no, no, no we don't no, do that no, no, yeah. sorry peter we just that's a joke don't take me serious we, we do sharpen the ends of it so we can you know nice step anyway, yeah yeah anyway so look at dual realists doing it up magnum double triple magnum spy bait the top water alabama i've never i didn't even think that was a thing that's that's legit it's not edible though not edible. Not yet. Not yet. We're working on that. And then we do have that coming soon. That is, I, that's, that's sick. But that, deal right there. Do a realist. If y'all know about him, y'all better be about him. Check him out. The boys in the hood. If y'all in the area, if y'all anywhere near Texas City, around Boyd Seafood, go check him out. If you ain't bought a crawdads, bought a fish, they got bait and tackle, you want it, they got it. See David Freeman at Boyd's. Boys one stop Texas City, Texas, but check out that cat moving on Facebook, watch his videos, laugh every day. Have a good time because on my most stressful days, I check out Pat Cat Newton and laugh my buns off and everything is good. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. All right. See y'all little big business meeting right there. It's three heavy hitters. Major business going on. This guy's looking at Dag on Instagram. What's that, Pinterest? Pinterest. <laughs> He's looking at grass seed. Hey, what's up, Matt? You doing, bud? <laughs> good thing you... Good, good thing you were scrolling something right. Oh, wow. Is this a round table meeting? <laughs> I see you, I see you. Ah! Hey, you done made Matt serious. What's up, Bobby? <laughs> I mean, it's just aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles of stuff. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. You walk through and you scratch your head. You're like, man, what? What is that? I don't know, man. I guess is uh, interesting. Oh, just a bunch of stuff. It's crazy. So, what's the game changer over here at Z Baits? What do we have new? The game changer is the twig. Okay. The twig is the game changer. So this is our finesse stick bait. Uh, as you can see, it's a stick bait. But here's the action on it. So you throw that on like a shaky head, a light shaky head. It's super finesse. I wacky rig it, toss it under docks. I love this thing in the summertime. Uh, actually, through this bait on Chautauqua, we can have to go call 20 pounds on it, just on this a package of these lures. So. 20 pounds, okay. Yep. Nice. That's, that's a big bag. What is this bite. all about? So this is our mud puppy. This is our kind of like fluke style bait. So when it's weightless, it swims through the water like a fluke. Kind of glides. As soon as you add weight to it, that tail flips and it actually waves. Right on. So you throw it on the back of a chatter bait, you get that waving action plus that vibrating head. A lot of movement. Nice. Cool bait. You're looking stuff, dude. It's different outside the box. I like it. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Z Bait Company. Y'all check them out. <laughs> 
So y'all seen them on YouTube, y'all seen them on Instagram, y'all seen them everywhere. Here they are up close and personal. Groundbreaking. You think it's groundbreaking? Is it a game changer? Game changer. That's there we go, game, game changer. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's been watching this stuff. Yeah, dude. Innovative. It's cool. You've seen them. You stand on the side. They don't flip over. They seem legit. They've been around for a minute. They got a good reputation. Like, I'm sure when I edit this video, it's not going to be that many things on it. But in my mind, I have went by 47 and a half thousand booths and seen some stuff. And I've walked past the same ones. It's so big. Like, I, I haven't seen everything. Stuff everywhere. We're going to walk over here to uh, the Best In Show stuff and see what won and make fun of it. All right, so here we are. New product showcase. Let's go in here and see what we can make fun of. All right. This is, our um, battery's gonna die. Somebody made new thermos cups. Can't believe that. It's genius. All right, let's see. Last year, you couldn't run a camera or nothing in this thing. This year, you can. These are all the contestants that entered for best of show. Yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna go walk around and look at all of them probably. Let's just go back here and look at best off. Okay, best fishing accessory. Best fishing accessory. Not a fishing pole, not a reel, not anything having to do with that. It's a cooler with wheels. That's your best fishing accessory. Best eyewear, coaster. I can dig that. I'm done with that coaster life. All right, what we got? The salt water? Alright, just a little Shimano action. Got salt water hard lures. I don't think that's a little. Alright, we're getting a little crazy, but a little carried away. Best freshwater hard lure. These will be on eBay soon for $225. Retail, $29.99. You'll buy them right now and not use them next year. Weston, good job, guys. Bless your hearts. Shimano in the house, freshwater reel, best of. Best freshwater soft lure, live target. We saw this earlier. <laughs> oh man. I mean, we'll see if it catches fish. Power Pro, we're all about that life. Look at this, best footwear. Now, is it best footwear on comfortability or what? I mean, somebody should lose their job over this. Straight up, you just lost your job. Whoever voted that, you, you, you lost your job. You lost it. Best lifestyle apparel, AFCO. Look at that. All right, then. What else we got? We got rods and stuff back there. Freshwater rod. St. Croix. St. Croix. All right, St. Croix up in here making some noise. I'm right, mad at y'all. Saltwater lure. Best saltwater lure. Live target. Shrimp action, what we saw earlier. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. This is best something. All right, then. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, so here are some fishing accessories that were beat by the cooler. Fishing accessories. That, clippers. This right here. These are best catch bait. I can't believe that was beat. Okay. This should have won. That should have beat the cooler. That should have beat the cooler. The bucket should have beat the cooler. Who doesn't need a good bucket? These lights. This thing right here for your dog. It should have beat it. The gaff right there for Bluegill should have beat it. I'm not hating on Yeti. All right? I'm not hating on Yeti. But when you see Yeti always... I, I don't know. All right, then. Listen, we got a Yeti. Let's just do something different. Let's put, put wheels on it. Boom. That's the show. Not best to show, but best accessory. All this stuff. Should have beat the Yeti. Should have beat the Yeti right there. That should have beat the Yeti. These should have beat the Yeti. Those should have beat the Yeti. I don't know what those are. What else we got? Should have beat the Yeti. Should have beat the Yeti. 
shouldn't be doing anything. Don't know what these are. I can't believe more. We got more coolers. The cooler industry definitely not oversaturated. These right here, snacks should have beat the Yeti. Once again, not hating on the Yeti, but the, that sword, that sword right there should have beat the Yeti. But it didn't. So what are you gonna do? Yeti, they got this stuff together. Not hating on y'all. Y'all got it going on, man. So high five and fist bump. You know, did y'all's thing. Dude behind me is upset about something. He's salty, mad. I don't think he's happy with like who won best of show. But he's like, I don't know why yet he won best of show. He ain't able to cool it with wheels. He mad. See, I cast. I mean, you got people in here getting mad about best of show. You need to, you know, redo how you do best of show. This guy here about about to get loud. I mean, he's staff and he thinks things need to be restructured. You know. See how mad he is? Y'all better tighten up, because he, he about to throw down on somebody, throw them bows, knock a few bucks. So y'all better ease 